What is going on everybody? It's your boy Captain Jack. Today we're gonna get into some serious action. I am out on a little solo mission on the ski and I'm telling you, you're gonna see cooking what we catch, camping on an uninhabited island, possibly sharks, and there definitely will be fire. All right guys, so now while I'm getting ready, I wanna let you know two things. One, we're racing against time, so I gotta get a fish. I'm starving, I haven't had anything to eat all day. And two, I'm diving alone, and make sure you guys do not do this at home. Always dive with a buddy if you can. I'm using the FRV. I'm gonna tether myself to the jet ski to limit the chances of anything going wrong. But the scariest part is there could be a shark lurking right behind me, and I would have absolutely no idea. We are out here on the spot, so smash the like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the blue. I did it. I at least got dinner. But look at this freaking mess. Look at that. There was a weight and like the spear got all wrapped up in some freaking fishing line that was down there. So that's no bueno. And when you're hooking live fishing, it just, you, you know, you get cut off, you get hooked up in the wrecks and stuff and the coral. So this is called a pork fish. They don't yield a whole lot of meat. That'll at least be dinner or maybe even breakfast. I'm really bummed because once I shot him, I looked up and there was like a perfect eating size mutton that was just right near me and I was like, oh, of course, of course. I should have been a little more patient. I'm gonna get this whole mess undone. What a cluster. It's so eerie down there. The sun is setting and it's getting dark the deeper you go. And it's really looking a little sharky. Like you would, I would see a shark pop up about this time. So hopefully nothing like that happens. And I'm gonna make at least maybe one more drift. Hopefully seal the deal with that one. The area I'm diving is a bunch of scattered rock. So I'm gonna get down there. I'm gonna hit the sand. And hopefully this is feeding time for muttons and one comes a little too close. <laughs> so 
going. There goes dinner. Whew. Dang. I can't resist. I gotta make one more drop. That was a bummer. I had my chance and I blew it. So that wasn't the mutton I was hoping for, but that was a mangrove. I made a drop and there was absolutely so much life. It is really cool going down there and having so many options. I was thinking about shooting one of those yellow jacks, which was that one I kind of was grunting at. And then a whole school of mangrove snapper. And that was like a perfect whole cooker, fire eating size one. But unfortunately, I didn't seal the, seal the deal. I waited a little too long to shoot. I shot and I just stuck the sand right next to him. But I'm gonna head in, it's getting dark. This thing doesn't have lights. I'm gonna rock up on an uninhabited island, start up a fire, and I'm going to cook this little pork fish. And hopefully it tastes just like pork. We are cutting it close, getting really low on light. And uh, yeah, I'll make it there just in time. So perfect timing here. All right, you guys, we made it to the island. I got my little camp area all squared away. I'll probably stay in one of the trees, set up my hammock, but I got the fire ready to go. So I got some coconut husk, and we got some different types of sticks, all gathered up by yours truly. Now it's time to light the fire. I was worried there for a second because that fire was not lighting. That would have been really bad because there is no plan B for me. If I was gonna have to eat something, it would probably be like pickles because I brought two of them. Pickles are ready, fish on. See you guys in a couple minutes. All right, so it's crazy. I had some guys walking down the beach and they're actual subscribers, <laughs> yeah. followers, yeah. follow the adventures. We got uh, Shane, Shane, Jonathan, and Jacob. Yes. Yeah, boy. I caught these guys out here making a fire, doing kind of the same thing. I love this. Get out there, adventure, and uh, do, do something weird. All right, well, we're gonna let them do their thing. We'll go do ours and uh, we'll see you guys in a minute. Later, guys. Okay, so I might have messed up. I might have overcooked it, but I wanted to make sure I got the other side fully cooked. I flipped it. That's what we got. So it's a matter of moments before I start munching. Everything cooked really good. And this is what we get. Look at that. So I'm gonna tr kind of pick around this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So amazing. Holy crap, I absolutely devour that thing. There's still some more meat on it. I'm gonna definitely dive back into that. I'm gonna pick it clean. Fire's out, time for bed. I'll see you guys for the sunrise. Can I follow you back to your room, watching you? 
How about that freaking sunrise, guys? This is my little hammock setup I got going on right next to the water's edge. And that made for an epic little adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it that thumbs up. If you're new, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys next week for another adventure. Peace.